points and rebounds by the Cal Poly player this year. Is that his career high in rebounds too? No. No, okay. 14 a couple years ago. Okay. Yeah, last year. <laughs> Brian, so the same, same thing asked Reese, you know, you being a veteran of this team in the conference, what, is, what does a win like this do for you guys going forward? Uh, I think it just boosts our confidence as a whole team. I know this for me individually, and I know every other guy was feeling good, like, just show the competitiveness to fight back, because we were down like nine and a half, and it was from then on, just kick it into overdrive, and we hit big shots when we needed them. And so we know that we can play with anyone in our conference just because the Big West is so talented this year. Like every team is so, so good. And night in, night out, it's going to be a dogfight like tonight was. And I think it just propels us in, for success in the future because we know how hard we have to play now and keep playing. And we know how it feels because with that crowd, it was great, like Reese said. Like it was packed. It was, you couldn't even hear sometimes coaches yelling. It was all on us. Right. A little bit different role for you the last, the last few weeks. I mean, yeah. I know dealing with a series of injuries, but yeah. coming off the bench and you've been able to really give a, a nice offensive spark. And how do you kind of, how do you like that role? And is that something you've been able to kind of embrace? Because I know it's different than what you've done yeah. throughout my career. Um, to me, it doesn't matter whether I start or come off the bench, because yeah. I know that coaches and players, we all need to contribute no matter what our position yeah. is. And uh, at first it was getting used to it, but I mean, I came off the bench couple times in my career and you no know, like two years ago I was coming off the bench which I had no problem with and I have ultimate confidence in our starting five and all the people on our bench so I mean just come in there give a spark and just play hard for sure how do you feel overall just I mean given everything you've had to go through with the shoulder and knee and ankle and everything um, else? I feel healthy I yeah. mean I'm really tired right now yeah <laughs> a two overtime game for sure. double overtime game yeah, that's what's gonna week. happen but uh I feel good I feel healthy I feel solid, I feel like it's just going to keep getting better and better. Hey, Brian, um, we've talked before, you know, about you being a little bit more active, especially this week. Like, uh, can you talk about, like, the development of this year? You said you're healthy now, but it seems like, you know, you're also a little bit more active, a lot of rebounds tonight, yeah. um, kind of uh, establishing yourself down low and able to sustain it now. Mm -hmm. um, just coming off, like, the injuries in the preseason, just knowing that keep fighting, keep working, keep doing extra work. Uh, I know Monday or we had, like, a Tuesday early morning practice and then me and Coach Fortier were back in there at night just getting extra work in uh, to get really back and keep doing that like it's not going to stop now because like you see success you want more success so just keep doing that and it's going to keep happening I'm going to keep going as hard as I can when I'm on the court. What does it mean to you that your team keeps going to you in the post and in big situations? Um, um, that they have a bunch of confidence in me and I'm just to make the right decision not to force any shots kick the ball I have the ultimate faith and all our players hit shots when I kick it out. They have the faith that I'm going to make a right decision when they pass it into me. And just, it's not just with me, it's with Joel, it's with Josh, it's with Luke, it's with ZG, all of us. Like, all our team, we're all confident in one another's ability to score the ball and compete. That uh, was either the second last or, for, or, or final uh, offensive play for you. You drop stepped, and there was kind of like a one, two, three count. Well, you know, everybody kind of tried to look like, you know, you had your foot inside of his. And um, can you describe that play for me? Um, I just felt like I had position. I know what you're talking about. It was the one that jumped up and just floated it over. Right? Yeah, I mean, you, you guys, you guys kind of leaned on each other for a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so, and I was just thinking, get back to my sweet spot, and uh, I got my leg in, side of his. Then it was like I was off balance for a second. So when I re stepped, it was my balance, and I was like, he's not gonna block my shot. He can't. If he blocks my shot, it's gotta be a foul or something. So I just knew to go strong and it went in. Thanks. Uh, moving forward now, I mean, uh, the the alternative tonight was to be 0-3 in the yeah. Big West. Now you guys are 1-2, yeah. got your first win, and now going on the road. Uh, what what does this do for your guys' confidence? I think he's going to springboard it. I think we're going to have a great road trip. I know we're going to work 100% harder all the time this week. And I know at home, games are going to be hard, so you know on the road they're going to be harder. So everyone knows that, and I know we're going to be mentally prepared and physically prepared to go battle. Yes, Brian. All right, thank you.